Here comes a blast of Arctic air. Hello, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd with an on-demand storm tracker forecast update. A little after 1 p.m. here on your Tuesday afternoon. Air temperatures already down around or slightly below zero across the northern tier of Montana, but 1 o'clock temperatures in southern Montana are in the teens and 20s. Wind chill values in the 1 o'clock hour Tuesday. 10 to 20 below zero already across the high line. And again, that's going to be digging into southern areas of the state later on tonight. There's not a lot of snow, but there is potential for bands and squalls to move through the region. What does that mean? Short bursts of snow. And that could complicate traveling around the region. Enough so, a winter weather advisory has been issued through 8 a.m. Wednesday morning for western, central, and southwestern Montana. Missoula, Butte to Bozeman, Butte, Helena, Great Falls, over to Lewistown. Periods of off and on snow, blowing and drifting snow, and again, wind chill values anywhere from 15 to 30 below zero overnight into early tomorrow morning. Wind chill highlights are already up across the high line, colder than 30 below zero, or at least that will feel like if you step outside across the high line. I think wind chill values across southwest Montana could be anywhere from about 10 to 25, maybe to 30 below zero tomorrow morning but it just hinges on the uh, wind potential. But look at the snow potential. Pockets of off and on snow as we go through this afternoon into this evening. And if some of these drag their heels or slow down at all, or get forced to go up the mountain range, or we call upslope flow, that could really ring out some pockets of moderate snow and could impact travel on I-90 from Butte to Bozeman and maybe not so much around Dillon, but snow and blowing snow, and certainly some complicated travel. I think most snowfall uh, numbers should come in the one to three, two to four inch range for lower valleys, and much more than that over mountains and passes. A little bit of a break, but very cold Wednesday, but by Thursday morning, a warm front begins to move through, and that will kick up the temperatures, but it could also drive a few mountain snow showers across the region. So let's extend your forecast, Butte. I think we'll be lucky to see 13 degrees tomorrow. I think it's actually going to stay in the single digits, and it will be around 5 to 10 below zero tonight. It could be around 5 to 10 below again by Thursday morning, but look at the rapid warm-up coming by the end of the week and by the weekend 35 to 40 degrees for highs with single digits and teens at night bozeman the next 24 hours very very cold I, again i think 12 degrees is a little high but uh, we could be around 5 to 15 for highs but morning lows tomorrow around 0 to 10 below zero that could also hold true for thursday morning and then we're back up into the 30s maybe even lower 40s by late weekend into early next week so this blast of cold arctic air should be short-lived will impact dillon uh, mainly in the form of just cold not much snow but uh, there could be some blowing snow over manita pass and warming up by the weekend and a final stop in west yellowstone again not a lot of significant snow in your forecast but there is a lot of cold uh, teens for highs and below zero lows until you get into the weekend early next week a slight improvement